Hey guys, it's Kat and Gina and it is fall and boy do we need something toasty in our bellies. Today we're going to do something really fun that I think that a lot of people are curious about. We're going to make Kevin's famous chili from The Office. Yup, the very own one that he poured or spilt all over the carpet in The Office. We are making that today and we're so excited. Let us tell you how they found that recipe. So if you are a Peacock user, you have the streaming service, you probably didn't read your user agreement. Well, they hid the recipe in the agreement because they knew that no one read it. So how funny is that? <laughs> so we're gonna make it, like, is it good? Because we all know that Kevin's a little, you know, lazy, a little quiet in the office, but supposedly he makes this chili so delicious, so we're gonna make it. The first thing he does have us do is that he wants us to toast four ancho chili peppers. I couldn't find them. Gina, did you find them? <laughs> no, I wasn't able to either. Luckily, you can find the uh, grounded ancho chili peppers at the grocery store very easily. So that's what I have in this um, little bowl. So we're gonna skip that step. We're not gonna toast it and then we're not going to grind it up. It's already done for us. <laughs> Let's ground some beef. I will say he doesn't say to salt the beef. Ina says to salt every layer, so. We're not going to do it. We're going to do what he says. Well, actually, we already did it because we didn't do the actually <laughs> It says three pounds of beef. I only did two. I only did one and a half. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm only going to make half the recipe. I actually am not optimistic that this is going to be a great chili. It's going to be a good chili. Not like an awesome chili, but a good chili. So I didn't want to make like a whole batch of it. I had to look up like exactly what episode this chili was actually featured in. It was in season five, episode 26, and it was the casual Friday episode, which is super funny. Okay, so we're just straining it for now. We're gonna set it aside because we have to cook everything else and then we'll add the meat back in. A little oil and then two onions chopped up. So the one thing that Kevin says in the show is, he says, the secret is to undercook the onion. So he has us cooking it only for two minutes. Okay, I'm gonna take my onions out. They're cooked, but undercooked. And he said just to make them translucent and they're getting there. Okay, so far so good. What's okay, next? so we're gonna add in a little more oil. And then we are going to add our garlic. Okay, and then we're gonna add in all the spices in. Chopped jalapenos, ground oregano, ground cumin, cayenne pepper, and two tablespoons of tomato paste. Two beers. Okay, as the beer is still cooking down, we're gonna go ahead and mash our beans. Mash it down a little, not all of it, just so they can get some of that nice texture into our soup. We're gonna add everything in here and we're just gonna dump it in and then we're gonna let it simmer for two hours, okay? So we're gonna start off with our beans. Some beef broth, tomatoes, salt, grounded ancho chili peppers, and don't forget the beef. I'm gonna simmer it for two hours on low and Gina and I are gonna prep our toppings. So if you like sour cream, cheese, green onions, get all that ready and we'll be ready to eat and we'll add in our onions just before we turn the fire off. And that felt really long so I can't wait mine what's the word it shrank a lot like the broth evaporated a lot what's that called there's a cooking term <laughs> okay anyway but I would say my texture looks almost like goulashy another mistake I did not put the beer in when I was supposed to so that whole time when we were waiting for seven minutes for the seasoning to like cook I guess the beer was supposed to go in at the same time, so that was why I was wondering if the seasoning would burn, and thankfully it didn't. I don't know. I'm gonna say it's no big deal because it sat for two hours anyway. Who wants to go first? <laughs> it's actually 
actually really good. Too salty. And you know I love salt. I have no complaints about it. It's actually really good. <laughs> okay. Mine tastes like slightly bland goulash. And I don't know what the beer did for the recipe. But I love the addition of the onions. See, Kevin said the secret is undercooking the onions and then we added yes. it right near the end. Made all the difference. That and, I agree um, with. <laughs> So if you're interested to know what it tastes like, I mean, we made it and it's not like the best, but it's, I think it's oh. pretty good. And talk about the ancho powder. So we did not do the ancho oh, chilies. Um, I'm, I bet if we did, it would have added more depth and heat to the mm -hmm. recipe. We just used the powder. It just didn't taste anything special to me. It's good. I'll eat it. My family will eat it, but I probably won't make it again. So thanks for joining. <laughs> I'm sure that was really helpful. Maybe it made you curious, so you'll try it at home. So let us know if you do. And hit that bell so that way you don't miss our next video. See you next time. Bye. Look, Ma, I made dirt. We can't mess this up, but we did. Rip. Rest in peace.